Hi, welcome to another video. I've done a bunch of videos where I've covered how you can create games and applications with AI using just one text prompt. It's actually quite cool. Generally, in these videos, I create some basic stuff like a snake game or a to-do app. But today, I'll be covering how you can create a full-fledged game from start to finish. I won't be creating a simple snake game. Instead, I'll be making a more sophisticated game with a start screen, end screen, sprites, animations, and more, all without touching any code files. I'll be using the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model because it's one of the best models for this use case. It's great at most tasks and is extremely good at coding, which is exactly what we need. Although I'll be using the Claude AI model, I won't be using the Claude chat interface. Prompting it yourself, getting results, and organizing them is challenging, and asking it to make changes is even more so. Instead, I'll be using Ader. Ader acts like a pair programmer. You can give it tasks, and it can do them for you without you needing to touch your files or code. It can automatically create and modify files, which is essential for creating applications. I'll also be using Invoke AI to generate some sprites and images to make the whole game look amazing. Additionally, I'll use Udio and Eleven Labs to generate music and sound effects to make it more complete. Now, you may ask what game I'll be creating. Well, it will be a simple game, nothing extraordinary. I'll be creating a game where multiple platforms have bananas randomly spawned on them. The player, controlling a monkey avatar, needs to collect 15 bananas within a minute. The game will be called Banana King. This isn't going to be difficult, but more of a proof of concept, demonstrating how you can create games with just text prompts and no coding knowledge. Anyway, let's get started by installing Ader. Installing it is pretty easy. You can just run pip, install Ader chat, and Ader will get installed. To use it with Claude, you'll need to export your Anthropic API key in your terminal like this. Once done, you can use it with Claude 3.5 Sonnet with this command. Before using it, it is recommended that you initialize a Git repository. Now, you can type anything, and it can generate it. I'll be making the game on a web interface with HTML, CSS, and JS, but you can also create desktop apps if you prefer. Let's first give it the prompt. Try to keep the prompt detailed so that you get the best results. Here's the prompt that I am giving it. Once you send it, it will start generating code and an outline of the task. You'll need to wait for a bit. Once the code is generated and everything is done, it will ask you if you want to perform the create operation or not. Once you send a yes command, it will create the files. Now, the task is done. Let's look at it. As you can see, it's pretty basic, but it works. However, there are some issues. The platforms are very far apart, making it almost impossible to jump from one to another. Let's ask Ader to fix this. It's fixing it. Okay. It says that it's now fixed. Let's look at it. Okay. It's a little better, but it's not yet perfect. So, I'll ask it again. Now it has fixed it again. Let's look at it now. Okay, it seems to be fixed now. So, the platform spacing is now fine, and everything works. To make the gameplay more dynamic, I also added logic to increase the jump velocity based on the number of bananas collected by the player. This added some dynamism to the game. There were also minor bugs, like platforms going outside the game screen, which I also got fixed. The game looks like this now, which is pretty cool. You get the timer at the top with the number of bananas collected, and the gameplay works smoothly. Now, we'll need to add a start screen. Let's ask Ader to do that as well. I've sent the prompt over, and it's getting that done. So, let's wait for a bit. It says that it has done that. 
Let's have a look. Okay, it has added it, and it looks really cool, almost like a proper game. To make it even more complete, we'll need to add game sprites or images instead of the blocks and circles we are seeing. So, let's ask Ader to implement the changes so that images are shown instead of shapes, and also tell us the dimensions for each of them. Okay, it has done that and given us the file names and dimensions. Let's generate the images. We'll use an image generator for this. I'll be using Invoke AI to generate the images as I usually do. If you want to know how to install and use it for free with Lightning AI, you can see my previous video, which I'll link in the description. It's pretty easy to install and use, but there are also many free image generators like Playground that you can use. Anyway, I'll be using the Juggernaut model because we'll be focusing on a pixel art style. Here is the background. It looks cool, so let's keep it. I also created the gorilla for the player, which looks pretty cool. I also created the platform and banana, which look fine. Now, let's put these images in the folder with the correct names and see how it looks. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. It looks pretty cool and works fine as well. The UI is now sorted out. To make it a proper game, we'll need to add background music as well as a sound effect for when the player collects a banana. For the music, we'll use Udio. You can go there and generate the music you want. I generated two music themes and liked this one. You can hear it. Okay, so this one is pretty cool. For the sound effect, we'll use 11 Labs sound effect feature. I generated this sound effect with it. This one is pretty good, so I added all of them to the folder. Then I asked Ader to add the music and sound effects, and it did that. It works pretty fine, with music, sound effects, and everything. However, I also wanted an option to mute the sounds if anyone wants that. So, I asked Ader, and it did that as well. Now, I think the game is fully complete. Let me give you a walkthrough of the game that I made entirely from text with AI, without even touching one file. Here's the start page. You can see the title of my game, Banana King, along with a start game button. Once you start the game, you'll be given a timer of 60 seconds in which you have to collect 15 bananas spread throughout the platforms. You can jump and collect the bananas. If you collect them within 60 seconds, you'll win. It's really cool. Obviously, this is not something out of this world, but it's amazing to see how far AI models have come. You can literally create games and applications without any coding knowledge in one to two hours. Creating such a game would have taken at least a day or two if made by an expert programmer. But now, it's really amazing to see that anyone can create such stuff. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to create a video where I create a complete application with it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.